So now I will give you next to quote, next to interview question. This is also very important. How to store form data to local storage? How to store form data to what here? Local storage. You know very well in the JavaScript, how many storages we have? Two storages are there. What are those? Local storage and sessions. Session storage. No global. How many storage? Two. What are those? Local storage and global storage. What is local storage? Without expiry. It will store the data without expiry. But session storage will store the data with expiry. Spiry will be this. Spiry means with respect to one session. One session means if you close the browser, you lose the data. But in local storage, it will be not like that. If you close the browser also, your data will be present in local storage. That is called no expiry. Data will be there for multiple sessions. But in local, in session storage, your data will be present only for one session. One session means once if you close the browser, you lose the data. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to create a form. And after giving the data, when we click submit button, because we don't have any database, we don't have any server in the backend. So we need to store our data into where? Local storage. So what I will give you, I will give you the form first. I'm creating one form. Let me create the form. So I will do one thing. I will take a table. Focus here, everybody. In row, I'm taking the data. So that is for what your number, name, address. So number. Input type is equal to text, ID is equal to what? T1. Second, I will take what? Name. Input type is equal to text, ID is equal to T2. Address. Input type is equal to text, ID is equal to what here? T3. Then we need to go for what here? Reset button and submit button. Input type reset. Value is equal to what? Reset. Input type is equal to submit. Value is equal to submit. Okay. This is what. And for this table, I will give what here? Align what I'm giving? Center. So now you can see the beauty now. So when table is created successfully. So whenever we give the data and when I click submit button, data should store in the database. So here I'm giving one function here. What's the function I'm giving? So what is my event? Event I'm giving on submit. Where I'm telling to go? F1 function. So immediately it will comes to the script. In script, I'm writing function. So tell me total how many values we need to read. T1, T2, T3. So see this. First one is number document dot get element by ID. What's the name of the ID? T1 dot value. Second one is we are getting document dot get element by ID. T2 dot what here? Value. Variable address document dot get element by ID. T3 dot value. So total how many values we got? Three values. Where I want to store local storage. Local storage dot set item. What's the name? Person number. That is number. Local storage dot set item. Person name. Name. Key value. Key value. Tell me local storage dot set item, person address, address, finish, data is stored. And if you want to display the data, you can display the data also. You want to display or you want to show, that's it. Display, display means you can say what? Document dot write ln, local storage dot what here, get item. You need to give the key. What's the key? 
पर्सन नंबर सेकेंड की पर्सन नेम पर्सन एड्रेस सेव दिस रिफ्रेश नंबर वन जीरो वन नेम एल एन एड्रेस आई एम गिविंग फ्लोरिडा क्लिक वन जीरो वन एल एन फ्लोरिडा कमिंग और नॉट कमिंग सो चेक इन द डेटा बेस ना सर I mean, browser. You need to go browser. You can go to what here? Storage. What storage? Local storage. Go here. You can see key value, key value, key value. So sometimes in interview they will ask you, create a form and store the data in the local storage. Ha! Huh, I can do sir like this. <laughs> understood my point here now? i hope everybody understood how to store form data to the local storage you can store the data to ses session storage also your wish